Well guys, how about this for service? I just get to show up on the dock and uh, I got somebody picking me up for once. I'm not picking up customers. So I've got Matt today from a local muskie club that I just did a seminar at last week and I kind of had an open day here on my way to Minnesota. And uh, yeah, look at the service. I'm getting picked up and oh, we're gonna buddy. go try and catch a muskie this morning. How are you? Hanging in there. Nice. Let's grab. I got you on full guide mode today. I didn't even bring a rod. Even All my stuff is in Minnesota. I just want to catch fish. Quick. Well, have a couple good. Or have a shot. That's all I need is a shot. A lot of boats out here already. Really? I, I passed 15 boats on the way up here. Really? Yeah. And there's one up there. And But I did. We'll get them all up here. All right. The deer are on their feet. I just saw a huge 10 pointer on a licking branch. So really? Yeah. I'm not guiding today, I'm just cat. I'm a customer today. Like bass boat, but then he's got, he's a big duck hunter. So he uses his mud motor, his duck hunting boat, to get up way up. Yeah, he was below the, I'm assuming he was below the uh, whiting dam last night. Or the uh, Nina Papers band. That's a good spot. <laughs> no way. No way. You got him? You got him? Yeah, I got him. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that strike was insane. <laughs> no way. That is why you do a full figure eight. Yep. That was second turn and I never even saw the good fish. You're a way better guy than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's awesome. I got the gun. There you go. That was a great hit. Wow. I got enough to take it. You don't want to bump. So what do you got going on here, Matt? This is a pit tag reader. It was using to uh, help the DNR uh, recap fish. Sure. So, oh, we got a winner. And you got a tag? We got a winner. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. So that's the that's number? A, that's the number, yep. And then you guys can give that back to the DNR? Yep, we can tell, they can tell us all about this fish, so. Super cool. So we do we want to measure this one now? probably measure this one now okay. that we did that. So part of when I was, um, doing my seminar, I was kind of listening to how these guys were opening up their club meetings and stuff, and they're actually talking a lot about pit tag reading. And it's something that, you know, a lot of anglers are trying to now do to help work with the DNR and just educate anglers, or even just try and figure out what the fish are really doing. So for us to, to pick up a, a tagged fish right away this morning is, is awesome. And how many fish do you think are actually tagged now? Oh, in the river. Really hard, to, really hard to tell. All the ones we stock are, Okay. and then uh, it's all recaps that they get from, uh, from their spring surveys. So then how, how so, many fish do you guys stock a year? We used to stock on average like 200 to 400. We can only do 200 at a time ahead of pit tag. So, okay. um, do you want me to grab them or you want to? Yeah, no, grab them, go for it, um, go for it. We only had limited capacity, so. All right, so we got a 33 and a quarter incher. Nice, healthy fish. We'll get awesome. her back in right away if that's cool. Yeah, no, do your thing. <laughs> Dude, you are the man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I, uh, that was like 10th cast. I don't know, that's, uh, I don't think my GoPro was even hit five minutes. So, super cool. Um, caught that fish actually on a little pandemonium bucktail. Like I said, I'm not fishing with, with any of my own equipment. All my stuff's in Minnesota where I'll be this afternoon. Uh, but small pandemonium bucktail. I think this one's actually a prototype. By the time you guys see this video, it'll actually be out. Um, I have talked to Kevin about this one and knows some guys who caught some fish on this bait, including now myself. So very <laughs> cool, awesome color. Um, copper blades for me and stained water are, are such a confidence thing. I, I think, I, mean, I don't know what you feel about it, but copper for me is, is a super good color in stained water. I really, really like it. And yeah, that was uh, amazing. Way to start the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that is gonna do it for me today. Um, big thanks to Matt for, for taking me out for a few hours. Like I said, I just did a seminar at their club 
and I was super impressed with the club itself. It's the Wisconsin League of Muskie Anglers, of Muskie Anglers Wilma. Wilma. Um, and I've actually fished with, I had customers that are actually a part of the club two years ago, um, but it was really cool to go see the club. And the biggest thing that jumped out with me with their club that's different than a lot of other ones is their average age of members was, I would say like 30 years old. Um, and there was a lot of people there that are actually younger than me and myself being 25. So it was really cool to see a lot of young people in it. Wisconsin, like musky clubs or musky clubs in general are super important for our sport. So if you guys are looking to get into a great club, maybe you live in the Stevens Point area, great, great club to join. Um, even myself personally, I'm a part of the Title Town Muskies Club in Green Bay. It's great for stocking, it's great for the sport, and it's great to help new people get into the sport. So if you guys are looking to talk more muskies or fish more muskies, or maybe hop in the boat with someone who maybe can help you or kind of mentor you, Muskie leagues are great things for that. So really cool day out here on the river. I just got to get out for three, three and a half hours, caught a muskie, super fun, um, and just a great time. Thanks again to Matt for having me. And yeah, I'm uh, off to Minnesota, and hopefully I'll see you guys there.